Hi, it's Danny and welcome to the Launceston Motor Show. Today we'll check out a few trucks, some great cars and electric motor vehicles, the way of the future. Stick around for more. So I'm here with Rick at the Launceston Motor Show here with a 1916 Model T Tourer. This is a beautiful vehicle. How long have you had it? It's been in the family most of its life. Yeah, right. Part of the transmission belonged to my grandfather. Yeah. My brother got it 50 years ago. Yeah, right. And we bought it off him probably 20 years ago and fully restored it. Yeah, so how long did it take you to restore Five it? Five years. Five years, yes. yes. And yeah. getting parts and that, was that hard? Get no trouble at all. You can buy any parts you want for a T model out of America. Can Schneider, you really? Schneider's in America, yes. And what sort of outings do you take it out to? Like just uh, family fun days, car shows, things like that, joy rides? Most, no, just most veteran rallies. We've done about 17 rallies so far in the last cool. six or eight years. What about romantic drives with wife? And actually, my wife loves the car, probably. Yeah, she, she does. <laughs> probably keener than what I am. She, yeah. uh, she enters all the rallies as soon as they've advertised. Now, for the young kids that are watching out there, how do you usually start this vehicle? You crank it. With the crank handle? Yes, yes. Don't you feel that kids of today are going to miss out on this old-fashioned stuff? You know, like the, the way that you drive these cars, you know, the way that you uh, start them, you restore them and all that. The strange thing about the T-Model, there's no fuel pump, no water pump or no oil pump. I did not know that. The fuel's gravity fed through the tank on the back. Yeah. The water's what they call a thermosiphon system, which runs through, it's got a nearly boil with fuel will circulate through the radiator. Yeah, yeah. And the oil is splash fed from the crankshaft with little scoops on the journals. That's awesome. It is, yes. It is. And this is what the kids will miss out on. Just that basic engine stuff. Exactly dead right, yes, yes. Well, thanks for your time. No trouble at all, it's a pleasure. with a 1935 Willys. How long have you had it for? 1935 Willys. Well, we've had it for, you know, probably near on 20 years now. Though. Yeah, right. But had been in the family before that. So. Uh, in this condition? Yes, yes in the, this is a car that is in its original condition. Oh, it's an original awesome. car. It never has been restored. Is that the um, original paintwork? Uh, it was repainted back in 1963. But right. You would still, still. You would still display the car as an original car. It's a, that it's is still, awesome. The one car had its continual registration, never been off the chassis. That is um, excellent. And so it's as original as we drive it today. Now you're so, in the uh, Veteran Car Club of Tasmania, is that right? Yes, and you go for little joy rides, as yes, I say? Yes, yeah. yes. We have club outings and uh, we have club rallies, and yeah. uh, we just come back from the state tour in Hobart. Oh, awesome. So we yeah. drove the Willys all the way to Hobart, down, yeah. to, down to Dun Alley. Ticks along, uh, all right? And she never missed a week. Oh, that's all awesome. Weekend. Now, what so, sort of engines in this car? Oh, it's got a little, little Willys uh, yep. uh, four cylinder side valve. Side valve? Side valve. Awesome. That's about 134 cubic inch. Yeah. Yeah, sort of around about sort of 15 or 18 horsepower. And yeah. originally, was this a crank started one or not? No, no. no? So it's always been an electric start. It's yeah, got right. crank back up. Yeah, that's advanced. Uh, but it has got an <laughs> electric start, yes. Yeah. yes. Holden body in Australia. Yeah, right. So it has an Australian content. So yeah. I, Holden built bodies before they built the Holden motor car. Yeah, right. So it's a Holden bodied car. It has a the Holden lines on the side. So yeah. She's quite at home in a, uh, a Holden motor show. Yeah. Although she's an American really. So, Marion, what do you think about all these guys, and, and a lot of girls these days, getting together to talk about cars all day while you have to stand around and wait? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that the usual thing well, when you come to these events? Well, there's usually other women as well guys, yeah. that you can talk with. That's yeah, good. Get you out and about into lots it of different areas. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And you like going for a ride in the, yes, in the willies? Yes, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't awesome. Mind, I don't mind. What was your very first car? My very first car was exactly the same colour and yeah. it was a Vauxhall Viva. And did that have a like a crash gearbox? Like when you had to go into first gear, it sort of crunched a bit, you had to double clutch it? Not that I remember. But yeah, anyway, right, okay. I found it very easy to And you had a lot of fun in it. Yes. That's So I'm here with Joy from the Military Vehicle Group of Tasmania. This is really interesting. Uh, military vehicles, how long have you been involved in these type of things? Many years. And how did it all start for you? We uh, wanted a four-wheel drive to do a trip down the west coast. Yeah. Uh, and you yeah. thought you uh, would combine the, both the interests together? Yeah. Four-wheel drives and, of course, the military vehicles. Yeah. These are beautiful. So what are we sitting in here? An Austin Champ. An Austin Champ. Yeah. What year? 
So, do you know what sort of engine it runs? This yes. is going to test you. Here we go. Oh, I know. Rolls Royce. A Rolls Royce engine? Yeah. I'm sitting in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> My goodness. I don't feel worthy, and you're the person that's standing on the outside there. <laughs> Thanks for your time. And I've got John here, he's got a beautiful vehicle. What are we in today? Uh, it's a 1949 Chev um, I got out of America yeah. uh, six years ago. Awesome. And um, uh, it's been a five year restoration, okay. but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a real art. Yeah. Um, uh, and it's a learning curve. Yeah. Um, and for anybody who is actually going to go and, and, and take on a project like this, yep. um, the first thing you really have to tell yourself is don't look at the big picture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, you, if, you look, if, if you look at it in its entirety, first yeah. up, you'll never you'll never. Think I it. respect a car a lot more mm. when somebody says they drive it every day or every second weekend or club days. That's yeah. the, I like those cars. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a working example of it, you know. Yeah. And, and, um, I purposely didn't do a two-pack on it. It's just acrylic, yeah, um, and like almost like a matte acrylic. So I, I, I just, I didn't like the idea. Of, it's not. A, it's more of a period piece. So yeah, that's right. Character. Um, that's yeah, what it's about. Yeah. Essentially, and uh, and uh, hence you'll see on the sides. It's just got the the signage on the side. Yeah. That's just more for looks than anything else. Yeah, the, the car originally did come out of Oklahoma. Yeah, and um, that's it. The, it creates a character and creates a story. And mm. for you and I to be able to sit around and chat about it mm. and. and find out its history and mm. find out about the fun that you've had restoring the vehicle and have a bit of a laugh along the way oh, and, yeah. and, and just say yeah. let's just take the damn thing for a drive yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah. I mean I I've t I took it on its first really long uh, drive about uh, two months ago yeah and how'd uh, that go perfect you know? yeah right yeah. I mean it's an old car it's an old car and yeah. um, but it went really well and yeah. um, top speed uh, top speed, it'll do about 55. Okay, that's all um, right. Which is, I, I don't really want to do anything. Any yeah, no, that. that's right. A bit bumpy too. No, uh, she rocks around a bit. Yeah, but... sounds great. Now, when you pull up at the local service station, what sort of response do you get? Um, um, yeah, I get a few looks every now and again. You yeah. Know? Um, yeah, and that people want to talk, which is great. That's you know? it. And it's just, it, it, it's, um, it's a talking point. And, you know, it, it's the whole idea is, is communicating with other people. And... That's right. There's nothing better, and I've, I've said this uh, in other film clips, make sure you check it out on mm -hmm. the channel, mm -hmm. but uh, nothing better than standing around with like-minded people, mm -hmm. car enthusiasts, bus, truck, motorcycle enthusiasts, um, you know, crossing the old arms, doing that step back mm -hmm. and just relaxing and talking about something you're passionate oh, about absolutely. and something, and memories, mm -hmm. some of the memories that come mm -hmm. flooding in. Mm -hmm. And, and it's also it's great to it's great to keep these old cars alive. Yeah, you know? it is. Yeah. And um, you know, like this, this will be passed on to somebody else, and they'll yeah. take over. You know. Yeah. Um, but uh, it, you know, this one's been saved like a like a whole lot of others. And, yep. and um, uh, well, we're, uh, we're custodians of them. Really. Yeah, yeah, you are. More, yeah, you know? yeah. And um, and that 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 was a big thing for me as well. You know, to be able to do that. And, That's um, awesome. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. How about I turn put it over to you? Yeah. Thank you very much for showing me around your... Uh, 1949 3100 uh, Chevy pickup. I'm glad you didn't stop. <laughs> so I've got Ray here from the Australian Electric Vehicle Association and uh, with modern technology, because let's face it, nobody wants to pay for petrol these days, so this is a way of the future, Ray, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Well, actually, I always say it's the way of the present, not it the is. future. It's here now. You're, you're not from a company or anything, you no, are no. from an enthusiast group, aren't That's you? That's right. The Australian Electric Vehicle Association has branches right across the country. Right. Uh, and the Tasmanian branch is actually the second biggest in the country. Western Australia beats us by uh, a few members, but yeah, uh, right. we've got over 100 people. Uh, and over 100 electric vehicles driving the streets. So it's a gaining right. momentum, it'd have to be. Oh, it? flat out, yes. Yeah. yes. A huge number of new vehicles are being yep. released. Yes. Uh, a couple more in Australia this yep. year, from Hyundai and Jaguar and what have you. So, yeah, it's really taking. So, what have we got here in the background? Uh, we've got sort of a cheats electric vehicle because yep. this is called a plug-in hybrid. Okay. Uh, so it still has the petrol motor, but it has a very big generator right. uh, that charges up the batteries that live underneath the car. So what does the word hybrid itself mean? Uh, hybrid means that it has both petrol and electric. Oh, okay, uh, yes. Because a lot of people are concerned about the fact that there's no charging stations around the place. So if you're out yep. whoop whoop and all of a sudden you start to run out of electricity, yes. you can flip over to the yes. other one. Yeah. Uh, most plug-in hybrids, uh, 
plug into the power point at home. Oh, that's uh, good. Awesome. So you don't need a special dark. box on the side of the road? No, you don't. Oh, no. good. Great. So uh, this yeah. one takes five hours to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that's not too which bad, Which is though. fine overnight, yeah. uh, or if you're at work during yep. the day. Uh, so I lock it up in the garage and I plug it in yep, and it'll be right yep, to go. Yeah, awesome. Yep. awesome. But if you're doing a long trip, uh, yes, you do need fast chargers. Yep. Tasmania is in the process of getting them. Yep. Uh, so the Long System City Council yep. has uh, agreed to, at their own That's cost, great. put yep. one in. That's good. Uh, and uh, we, some of our members have a company yep. uh, that's going to be putting in chargers. Okay, uh, that's Electric good. Electric Highway Tasmania. So Ray, for us really, uh, in our generation it was all about petrol, but it has to be something for the youth to take on, doesn't it really? It's and apparently you guys have got uh, a bit of a project happening at Launceston College, is that We right? do, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, I'm at Launceston College. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, so we're converting a Suzuki Mighty Boy uh, to electric. Uh, they look like little shopping trolleys, don't they? They do. Yeah, so yeah, a great car to convert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so, good. Uh, should be good fun, I think. Value of batteries, I mean, that's, that's the thing that's got to come into consideration. It's doesn't? one of the biggest costs of an electric vehicle. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when I bought the Outlander, yeah. uh, I was quoted $10,000 for a new set of batteries. Oh, wow. And that's uh, 12 kilowatt hours of batteries. So do you uh, think people are going to be able to justify that cost or not? Uh, well, you're not paying for petrol. Uh, well, that's right, yeah. So uh, I'm saving $1,000 a year on petrol. Yeah, that's uh, unreal. Yeah. Uh, over 10 years, I'm yeah. paying for batteries. See, but us as humans don't take that on board. We don't like to spend that money to save the money. We, we just want instant savings, don't we? We do. But, but it yes. is worth investing, and it's really worth uh, keeping an eye on because electric vehicles, all of a sudden, are just going to be here. All of a sudden, for everybody to get a hold of. Absolutely. And for those people yeah. who aren't taking notice of it, will probably be left behind. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, the government's uh, legislating as well. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, England in 2030 won't be able to buy a petrol or a diesel. Okay, so, so how so, advanced is that in Australia? Uh, way behind. Way behind, yeah. Way, oh, way it's a shame, isn't it? It is, yeah. Uh, which is why groups yeah. like us exist. Yeah. Uh, to try and, get things and that's it, we need you guys to push it. Mm. Well, thank you, uh, Ray, for your time. And you're Pleasure. from uh, Australian Electric Vehicle Association, so check it out. That's the one. Thank you. John, for showing us around your 1939. 49. Oh, 19, look at that. So, thank you, John, for showing us around your 1949 Chevy 100. 3100. 3100. <laughs> I've, done, I've done about literally 10 takes to try and do that. I still can't get it right. But anyway, make sure you hit that little bell for instant notifications on new episodes coming up. And also like and subscribe and share it like crazy.